Hi, Deba. So, yes, hi. We have Deba today, and he will be explaining us on what is this difference between polarity and subjectivity, and how these values are calculated for different words or different tokens within text blob package. Over to you, Deva. Can you please help us understand on how is this polarity and subjectivity calculated? Uh, yes, thank you, Bernie. So for polarity and subjectivity in text blob package, uh, we are having a dictionary for that. So like this is the dictionary. Uh, it has the score for each and every word, as we can see, polarity, subjectivity. And for modifier words, we are having something called as intensity. So let us see this with an example. But before we go, uh, the range of polarity, it ranges from minus 1 to plus 1. Subjectivity, it ranges from 0 to 1. And intensity has a range of 0.5 to 2. These are multipliers, which will be multiplied. These are for modifiers. Like very in this uh, sentence is a modifier. So if we are taking this sentence, not a very great calculation. The polarity and subjectivity, when we uh, run it through text blob, we find that it is minus 0 0.3 and 0.5. If we break it down, uh, let us start with the word great. I mean, you're this saying that for this word. entire sentence, sorry, uh, to intervene. Yes. Sir. So you're saying that for this entire sentence, you'll have one polarity. And for this entire yes. sentence, you'll have one subjectivity score. And now you're helping us understand on how uh, we have arrived at minus 0.3 as polarity score for that sentence, which says not a very great calculation. And you're now saying that for this sentence called not a very great calculation, how the subjectivity score is arrived at 0.5. You want to explain that, correct? Correct. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much. You can go at this. Yeah. So if we break it down, so let us start with this word great. So if we look at the word great in our dictionary, uh, if I just jump to that. So we can see there are four uh, basically words with great. So for calculating the polarity of that word, we'll take average of all the values that is present in the polarity. Uh, same thing for subjectivity as well. So four great words. Uh, for that, we are taking the average of that. Uh, let's get back here. So from that, we are calculating Polarity is 0 0.8 and subjectivity is 0 0.75. Uh, if we add a negation, like not is a negation word. So if we uh, add this to the word great, the polarity will be multiplied by minus 0.5. So whenever uh, a negation is multiplied, minus 0 0.5 is multiplied with the uh, polarity and uh, just the polarity. Subjectivity is not affected when negation is multiplied. So when we multiply minus 0 0.5 with 0 0.8, we get a polarity of minus 0 0.4 and subjectivity remains as it is. Similarly, very, which is a modifier word, it only uses in intensity. So if we go back and see very, uh, very has an intensity of 1.3. So this will be multiplied uh, with uh, the polarity as well as subjectivity. So modifiers multiply the intensity with both polarity and subjectivity. Max polarity ca we can have is plus one. So it caps at this uh, 0 0.8 multiplied by 1.3. We are getting more than one. So it will be capping at one only. Uh, then we are having subjectivity 0 0.75 multiplied by 1.3. We are getting 0 0.975. Next, if we are having negation along with a modifier word, like here we are having not very great. So in this case, when we are having negation along with modifier, negation will always multiply 0 0.5. But here, the intensity will be taken inverse. I uh, will take just the inverse of the intensity. 
uh, for both the cases when it is a negation along with uh, modifier. So modifier words will be having inverse intensity in this case. So here, polarity is multiplied with inverse uh, intensity and multiplied by the polarity of the uh, whole word, means this sentence. And we are getting minus 0 0.31 for this case. Similarly, subjectivity. Subjectivity is not affected by the negation words. So minus 0.5 will not be multiplied. Just the intensity will be multiplied by 0 0.75. So we are getting 0 0.5. So this is the uh, sentence in this in the sentence we are also having a one letter terms will be ignored while calculating sentiment and also the words which are not present like calculation is a word which is not present in the dictionary we don't have any uh, word called calculation in this if you see there is no word calculation so it will not take that into consideration and it will just give you uh, this value. So this is what we got after calculation minus 0 0.3 and 0 0.58. So that is what we are getting as our total calculation. Uh, Dev, one question. Uh, where is yeah. this um, uh, dictionary coming from, those values? This dictionary is present in text blob uh, as an XML file. We have just yeah. converted so, it to uh, CSV. Yeah, I'll, I'll take this question. So Harish, I told you, right, that English experts, etc., will be brought together and each word is given to them and they're asked to give a value for each and every word. Okay. And okay. manually they gave those words. Uh, and what is the polarity score and objectivity or uh, subjectivity score for each and every word. And that is placed in text blob library. And that okay. works as a input data based on which calculations are happening. Yeah. Yeah. It's like downloading some stop words uh, from a, a, if you uh, install library called text blob, okay. all these things will get automatically installed. Okay, uh, some uh, we've seen that last example, right? Calculations is missing in the dictionary. Yeah, it's missing, yes. So we frequently might encounter such situations, right? Uh, in Absolutely. Of... So those things are ignored according to text blob library. What is text blob? It's a library which is written by an individual or a group of people. And they're not enforcing on us to use this, but we are using it because we know that we cannot do this entire exercise. We cannot take all the words of English dictionary. We cannot tokenize it. We cannot call all the English experts and ask them to give, you know, rankings or values for polarity and subjectivity against each and every word. We cannot do that exercise, right? Someone else has already done. So we are reusing that. They're not saying this is the best. This is the only thing which is available on the planet. No one will see that. If you feel there are challenges in this, you can manually do it. All this exercise, you can do it. But since we don't have time, energy, money to do all those things, we are using it with certain limitations. Yeah, got it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah Maran, just a question. Uh, yes. Uh, why the same word is having multiple values? I get the same or grade or word. Sorry. Multiple times. With... Sorry, Adhyanath, can you be a little clear? Yeah, my name is Sina. Yeah, Sina. Actually, it's, uh, yeah, it's my kid name is Adi. Yeah, you can rename it later. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, so. Okay. Uh, so um, see, the same word is having a repeated multiple times, right? Multiple. Where times. Where is that? The list. Can you, can you just open the Excel? Acha, open Excel? Okay, fine. So, Sina, uh, do you think these people would have asked only one individual to come and give the polarity score details? and subjectivity score details. Do you think they would have approached only one individual and they would have asked uh, that individual to give some numbers? No, they would have approached three, four people and all the different four people might not have same, uh, you know, understanding in terms of what should be the polarity score and subjectivity score. So based on that, they'll give. You take okay. an average of that. Okay. Yeah. 
there is something called as triangular distribution, beta distribution. So using those calculations, there are a few other libraries which are constructed. Okay, anything else, uh, Deba, that you want to explain here? Uh, no, Bernie, that will be. Sure. Thank you so much, Deba, and this has been extremely useful. And you have explained in such a nice manner by splitting it step by step that it's now very clear for me and I'm sure for everyone else. Thank you. Thank you so much.